This video is about our first application for summer being four seasons and moist. Alright, nice and early in the morning. Uh, what's the date today? It's the third. So I'm doing my first application for summer which is moist and four seasons. The reason I'm doing it on the third is because it's been windy here so I can't get the application down when it's windy. The wind needs to be less than 20 kilometres an hour. New bus, lawn porn. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Moist and four seasons, so we'll get the moist uh, down and then straight away we'll put the four seasons down. Then we'll water it in for about 20, 30 minutes. Half your water in your sprayer, then put in your moist. Sort of got a thick and gluggy sort of texture to it. It'll get caught up a little bit in your filter basket. See how it's still dripping? Still dripping from there. So what you need to do is then wash it in. Agitate your mix. All right, cool. Let's go spraying. All right, well, this area is starting to meld in very well, knead into the surface and is starting to get that look. That PGR is definitely working. The mows have been light on the clippings, that's for sure. The rabbits are absolutely smashing us at the moment, completely. Uh, every day having a munch and really wrecking the surface. So I've ordered some stuff, some audio gear to try and get rid of them. I'm yabbering, let's go and uh, get straight into this uh, application. So I'm doing 300 mils per the 100 square meters of moist. And you try and keep the application even, but look, moist is a bit forgiving. Any application that you're putting in uh, water after the application, you can be forgiven a bit of uh, overlapping and stuff like that, but same as your foliar products, try and keep it even. And moist will work three ways. It'll stop the soil becoming hydrophobic and not accepting water. It'll keep the water at the root zone. And it'll keep that water nice and even at the root zone, even throughout the whole area. So it'll distribute it nice and evenly. The cool thing about that is no more dry patches on your lawn. All right, that's our moist down. And straight away, four seasons. Nice even application of this. And this is in our summer program. It's a great way to start your summer. I don't know how well the rabbit's uh, poo is going to start the summer on my lawn, but that's the way it is. I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we will be able to play golf on it soon. So the four seasons is just a fantastic fertilizer. A nice balanced and even nitrogen feed. There's also slow release uh, K in there. So, um, slow release potassium, should I say. <laughs> and that will, uh, you know, yeah, it's great to have growth, but it's also necessary to have a strong plant. And that's what the K is there for. And the iron in it will give you that nice deep dark green. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's easy, nice and down. And then straight away, 20, 30 minutes of irrigation, depending on your sprinkler type. Oh, never gonna be another hot day here today, 31. So I'll probably, I'll give it 30 minutes. It's coming on now, baby. This is the afternoon of the same day that I put down my moist and launch. It's now 33 degrees and six o'clock in the afternoon. So it turned out quite warm today. This lawn is really starting to come together nicely. That PGR is keeping it nice and tight. 
I've got this down now to nine millimetres and I'm not getting so much scalping. The condition is improving. The lawn is growing into the uh, bare areas uh, nicely. Look, I'm really, really happy uh, with it at the moment. And uh, look, in the next few days, this will go a nice deep dark green with the iron. It is looking lovely. I just really want these areas to grow in now, but that'll take a little bit of time. Thinking about this front lawn, I could go one of two ways. My two choices are that I could do a mini reno now, uh, even though that the PGR sort of affected the sward a little bit and it's, uh, it's going a bit slower. But that would just mean a couple of weeks of you know, having it really sandy again and I just really want green grass. So I'll just leave that for now. The second, the second thing is just let it grow and, uh, and just muck around with it that way. And then mini reno it after Christmas when I you know, don't need to look at it so much. That's probably what I'll do just to get that nice final flat level. And that's uh, you know, moist and four seasons. That's really the backbone of the whole summer program. Moist once a month, soil wetting, so you don't get dry patches in your lawn, you don't get hydrophobic soil. The water is kept at the root zone, very important during the summertime, and it's, the water is evenly distributed through your lawn area, which is fantastic. So once a month with that, but the four seasons fertilizer, that'll give a nice, you know, six to eight week backbone feed for the foliar treatments. I'm gonna be a little bit different to my program uh, with my next application. I'm gonna put down a bit of charger just to get the bits that uh, need to grow in. Just hopefully quicken that along, but that'll be the only difference. Then I'll do two weeks of green light and that will really darken the deep green here uh, for the uh, you know, Christmas, uh, Christmas look and the, you know, the holiday season. What I'm really pleased about is that this, uh, you probably can't see it that well, the, uh, I've had a bit of a chat to my real estate agent about the, uh, about the retaining wall, which isn't a retaining wall, it's just uh, rocks on top of dirt and they're all loose. Um, the owner has kindly said, you know, uh, yeah, he'll have a look at it and see what he can do. So I'm really appreciative of that. The whole idea of this yard is that I don't want to bug the owner too much for things. So I'm just going to do uh, as much as I can myself without having to ask the owner anything. Cause you know, um, the owner wants to, you know, have an easy life too, you know. Um, a retaining wall for here is, is a fairly big expense and you know, it's a, it's a big ask, but uh, hey, look, you know, he said he'd look at it. Um, if he does it, great. If he doesn't, we'll deal with it. But um, yeah, it's certainly uh, nice that he's gonna take a bit of a look. So thank you to the owner. <laughs> So in my next video, we'll uh, have a look at how the uh, Tiff Tough is going. It's been in six days, so I'll do a video tomorrow or Saturday, so it'll be in for a week, and uh, it is looking absolutely magnificent. So let's take a quick look, and here it is. It is looking absolutely, completely fantastic. So I've got a bit of edging to do and, and whatnot, but yeah, it is, a work in progress. Just look at it, it is magnificent. We've made, the shed hasn't arrived yet, but it should do in the next day. Or so, if it doesn't, well, um, you know, if it doesn't, there's nothing I can do about that. But um, yeah, really looking forward to getting the Absco shed, chucking it up, and give me a bit of extra room for everything that I need. Well, and the same thing with the backyard here. The idea is not to hassle the owner you know, to change plants or anything like that. I'm just working with what I've got. I've removed a few with permission, uh, especially for the shed and everything like that. And, and here it was just, uh, on this side, it was just all overgrown. But that will all be in the next video. So if you're enjoying the content here at Lawn Porn, make sure to like the video and subscribe. It helps me grow. Get your lawn on. The Lawn Porn Summer 2021 program is available for free download at lawnpornonline.com. What products to use and when, and how to do it. There's even a program to get you started if you have poor conditioned lawn. Information about mowers, irrigation soil weather, plant growth regulator, weeds and how to get rid of common weeds is all included. The dethatching, getting ready for autumn, and information about our products and some new turf professional products. And don't forget the grass off. Thank you very much and get your lawn on.